You want to know what's dangerous? They have called President Trump Hitler and called him Nazi. They've called me Nazi. They, someone drove by their bicycle today outside the courtroom and called me a fascist. They call us names all the time. Why isn't their speech being gagged? Why isn't their speech being censored? Why isn't their speech being weighed in the public court of opinion and weighed in courtrooms as being disparaging and inflammatory and inciting violence? Georgia, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Come get your Congresswoman. Marjorie Taylor Greene, who's one of the ringleaders of the extreme MAGA Republicans is on the floor right now, not trying to solve a problem for the American people, but once again to bring another frivolous censure resolution. Don't we have enough challenges that we should be working together to solve? But all we get from the extreme mega Republicans are political stunts and performative politics, and it's a shame. Yep, you heard it here. That was Marjorie Taylor Greene taking the video, bemoaning the fact that so-called liberals are getting away with free speech and the rest of us are not. Can you believe that the party of freedom is calling for gagging and censorship of other people's speech? Does the First Amendment not play a role here, Marjorie Taylor Greene? Or is it just for issues that you care about? Um, I believe in hate speech. When you have hate for somebody, I am 100% into speech, hate speech, because it's freedom of speech. You can speak. So if you hate someone, you should be able to just say? Yeah, I believe it. And so you think it exists? Yep, 100%. Uh, um, freedom of speech is freedom of speech, no matter what the speech is. It sounds terrible. I mean, you might want to cover your kids' ears, but it's still freedom of speech. I don't believe there's anything as hate speech. It's all under interpretation. You know, people interpret how they want, and they can interpret whatever they want. So they can change anything to hate speech. You know, if I say I want to step on a grasshopper, it can be considered hate speech. It all depends on the person. And I believe we should have the freedom to say whatever we want. If we hurt somebody's feelings, Oh, well, sticks and stones may break my bones, but, you know, words will never hurt me. I think there's free speech. I think hate speech is just a term they, they dreamed up to uh, keep other people from talking, saying what's on their mind, for the most part. Sure, things get a little overboard, but they always have. And if people can't speak their mind, how are you going to know what people think and what they want? And it's just ridiculous, all this hate speech talk. It's, I don't like it at all. If people are trying to destroy other people, you got to stand up. And that's what they say. Anytime you stand up, we're the bad guys because we say, hey, you can't do that. So that's that's they'll call that hate speech. It's so twisted. It's so soft. It's so I mean, when Obama was in there, everybody was like, OK, we can't. We're more locked down, too. When Trump got in. The the Patriots felt like we can breathe. Are there any Democratic Patriots? I tell you what, I would like to meet one. I, I probably the last one I know of is uh, Jack Kennedy. I mean, that's he. Th listen, when the when the platform, the Democratic platform, threw God out, that's that's what we got the freedom from. First thing they did when they came across, they bent their knee to God because they were tired of being, had, had tyranny. That's what this country's built on. What do you think of what Tucker Carlson said the other day? There's no such thing as hate speech. No, I think people just get offended really easy now. And when CRT and you know all the racism, Black Lives Matter and everything was pushed, you know, it took on a whole new definition of what hate speech actually is. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Now let's go a little deeper into what the Congresswoman is saying. I can't believe I used the word deep and Marjorie Taylor Greene in the same sentence, but I did that. So she said somebody was passing by on a bike sickle and they called her a fascist. What? 
Wait, Marjorie Taylor Greene a fascist? You mean she doesn't believe in autocratic, dictatorial type of government? You mean she doesn't believe in taking away other folks' rights? I mean, just in her own speech, can we just play that one more time? They've called me Nazi. They, someone drove by their bicycle today outside the courtroom and called me a fascist. Why isn't their speech being censored? What? She was just saying the other side needs to have their free speech taken away from them. If that is not part of the definition of fascism, I don't know what is. She also questioned why is it that in the courts, you know, they're not being held to account. Well, Congresswoman is called filing a lawsuit. So if you feeling froggish and you want to leap, then go right ahead and do that before you just to blanketly call for the curbing of other people's free speech. Sister, I think you would need to rethink that. Now, why is she all up in arms about this? Is it the ouch? Say ouch if they talking about you or if they on your pew, just say amen. I think that's a lot of what is going on with Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now she did make one point about whoever the they are. Some folks have referred to Donald J. Trump as a Nazi. And I gotta part ways with folks who do that because if we understand anything about Nazism and what Hitler did, uh, Donald J. Trump is a long way from that. Thank the Lord. We don't want any of that popping off in the 21st century anywhere in the world, but particularly here in the United States of America. So we gotta be careful how we bounty, how we bounce these words around and the label in the folks. I will give her that in terms of a Nazi, but a fascist? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Neo-fascism is alive and well, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. And your front runner in the GOP for the GOP nomination is absolutely a neo-fascist. Just ask him. He's already talking about what it would be like to be a dictator in the United States of America. And you are all in that club, sister. I see the picture of you of Donald J. Trump right behind you. So fascism, yes. Uh, comparing them to Hitler, no. No, that's a bridge too far. And then her point about the name calling. Well, I am old enough to remember when her and Congresswoman Lauren Boebert got into a little scuffle on the floor. And I think the B word was bantied about. Thank you, conversations to the back. Off the floor. For what purpose does the gentlewoman order, please? Marjorie Taylor Greene knows a lot about calling other people names. This should be the point. Instead of this congressperson taken to social media or taken to video bemoaning what folks are calling each other, how about she call on her GOP colleagues and others to stand up for the American people? How about that call? How about that call to have paid family medical leave in this country? How about that call to pass the PRO Act? How about that call to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act? How about that call to pass the George Floyd Policing and Justice Act? There are a lot of things she be, should be calling for instead of wasting time talking about name calling as if she is still in elementary school. How about a call to action to enhance the lives of the American people? How about that kind of call? Well, alas, we might be asking for a little too much from the Congresswoman of the great state of Georgia. Georgia, you can do so much better. So I got a call to action for you. Y'all need to go on and vote that woman out. Find you another representative, somebody who ain't gonna play childhood games. You know what? Tricks are for kids. They shouldn't be for Congress members. So we, we, we need a whole bunch of calls and not the types of call that Marjorie Taylor Greene is standing up for or sitting down for or making a video for, but we need Congress people who are gonna stand up and use the power of the people on behalf of the people. What do you think?